time to invert that binary tree. Now, quick like 10 second introduction. Not that it needs it. This is the most legendary, the most classic, the memeiest problem you will ever know. But it never hurts to explain a problem, does it? So imagine you've got a tree, you can see it here, and you put a mirror on one side. Now the new tree will look like this. And once you straighten out the numbers, this is what the inverted tree will look like. And that's your goal, to return this inverted tree. This time, we're going to flip things on its head. I'm going to show you the code straight away. Right here, it's censored, it's blurred. It's not for the unwilling, it's not for the faint-hearted. If you want to solve it for yourself, you know what to do. Head on to the coding link and head on to the problem. Once I unblur it, I want you all to look at the code and consider why it works. And we'll get into the explanation shortly. Uncensoring in 3, 2, 1. Now let's draw a quick parallel to see why this code works. Let's imagine you've got a coat hanger. This coat hanger is going to be your root node, the very first coat hanger. And two coat hangers can hang from it on its left and on its right. We'll mark them with different colors to differentiate them. So let the left be red and the right be blue. Now let's say we lift out the right side coat hanger. We're not simply removing that coat hanger. Every hanger underneath it comes out as well. And if we remove the left child as well and swap them, you'll see that it's not just the second level. Instead, the entire subtrees have been swapped. What does this mean? Have a look at this tree right here. When we swap the roots left child and right child, it's not just 3 and 7 that are getting swapped. No. Instead, the entire subtrees are getting swapped. This makes it a lot easier. Why? That's because all we have to do is repeat this process at each and every level. Here we've already swapped the left and right child of the root. Now we're going to proceed to do it with each and every node. So we're going to move to 7 and swap its children. Now when we go on to 8, there's nothing to swap. But when we go to 3, 1 and 2 are its children, which have to get swapped as well. Effectively, we're making every left element into a right element and vice versa. And that's basically what a mirror does, right? Every left gets converted to a right. Now the code is, as you can see in your screen right here, we've naturally got to have a base case. Otherwise, our recursive function call will keep on going infinite times. If root is not return root, a pretty simple base case. This is a simple swap operation. We're swapping the left child with the right child. Next, what do we do? We move on to the left child and we swap its elements. Then we move on to the right child and we swap its elements. You can do this in any order you want. The ultimate goal is to visit every node and swap its children. Once we return root, we will get a fully inverted binary tree. Let's see if this works. Compile and test. Gives us that warm fuzzy feeling, but there's that little ambiguous question mark. But once we hit submit, we get that green tick of satisfaction. So guys, that's been inverted binary tree. A problem I'm sure you've seen a dozen memes about. We posted a lot of memes about this ourselves on our Twitter page. Make sure you check that out as well. It's been Vivek guys. I hope to see you next time.